All right, I want to go to breaking news out of New York State Police. They're updating us on the limo crash that happened over the weekend, which killed 20 people. Yes, uh, we just learned that the driver of the limousine yes. did not have a commercial driver's license and the limo itself did not meet federal or even state standards. Police also say mm -hmm. that they are now looking at the black box from that limo. As we learn more now, let's send things over to Chris for a look at what's next in this investigation. Right now, the National Transportation Safety Board is on scene of the limo crash in New York that killed 20 people. And we've just learned that that limo, it had failed an inspection last month. It wasn't supposed to be on the road at all. Now, the person driving didn't have the appropriate license either. And now the limo safety and regulation, all of that being called into question. The Nas Kamasi Aaron bringing us the latest. What went wrong? Today, the NTSB is working to answer that question about the limousine crash that left 20 people dead. The NTSB is really today going to really get into the meat of this investigation. One of the first things investigators are looking at, the road itself. This intersection had been redone in 2008 after a deadly accident, and business owners nearby say there have been plenty of close calls. Tractor trailers have gone down the hill before and actually have come across the parking lot into the field in the back here during sore hours when somebody could have been killed. Another thing investigators are looking at, how limousines are regulated, which experts say could prompt changes. There are seat belts in the back. There's, they're required to be, but you're not required to wear them. And I think the loss of life uh, will in part be attributed uh, that individuals were not wearing seat belts. Still, limo crashes are rare. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, in the last five years, only 12 people have been killed in the 12 crashes involving large limos. When it comes to all all vehicles, nearly 172,000 people have been killed in roughly 160,000 crashes in the same time period. We're just wonderful, kind, loving. You couldn't have met better people than they were. Today, family and friends remember those most recently lost, two pedestrians and the 18 people inside the limo heading to a birthday party, including four sisters. They were all very active parents and involved in their children's lives and wonderful people. Grieving and coping while waiting to find out why. For the now, I'm Kumasi Aaron.